John from John Hall Music and in today's video what we're gonna be looking at is take a simple beat for example like a, a, a rhythm to a Zeppelin tune something like this something like that then start to add your ghost notes with your left hand in time creates a really cool groove that I noticed is that with um, John Bonham, if you go back and listen to Zeppelin records, sometimes in certain songs, uh, rock and roll, for example, uh, I think Black Dog, pay attention to the ghost notes and to really listen harder. Um, for example, uh, maybe you guys know this now because you've seen it on YouTube, but um, you know, the beginning to rock and roll is uh, something sort of like this. Okay? But then as the song goes, it continues on. Versus... Hey, both sound good. And uh, because I'm not John Bonham, uh, it might not sound quite as good. Let's go back to a more basic beat uh, that's not so fast, like rock and roll. Let's take a beat, uh, maybe in the tempo of like the um, Black Dog or something like that. So, here's my idea. So you're going like this. So let's go. How do we do these grace notes? Well, what we need to do is maybe take our foot out of it for right now. So let's practice this. trying to do simply is use your old beat and then just start adding your left hand on the beats and it's up to you how you want to groove it but you can get more um, swing or groove out of it than not putting it in there and that's the idea behind the video is to take a simple beat that you that you've played for a while and then start making your left hand if you're a right-handed drummer playing this way more active all right so here we go again <laughs> sure that you're you're playing ghost notes um. 
that they're in time with what you're doing. Another thing to be really uh, focused on, um, if you want to get your drumming more and more solid, more groove, is as you're playing your snare drum, be careful on how you're hitting it. In other words, if you're doing a basic beat, for example, like this, start to look at how you're hitting it. Are you hitting it and choking it? Are you letting it come out? Are you letting the stick dribble? Uh, are you adding ghost notes in ahead of it? Anyway, pay attention to it when you play a beat because it can really make it sound good or bad. Uh, okay guys, to sum up the video, it's pretty simple. Take a simple beat, for example, like a, a, a rhythm to a Zeppelin tune, something like this. Something like that, then start to add your ghost notes with your left hand in time. Creates a really cool groove. Alright guys, I hope the video helped out. Remember to stop by my website, it's johnhallmusic.com. Go down into the description, click the link, it'll take you over there. You can also go to Amazon and iTunes and a bunch of other stores if you'd like to buy my backing track material. I've got guitar, drum, and bass backing tracks at the site, as well as video tutorials. So hopefully the lesson helped you out. Until next time, jam on. See ya. Bye.